Before we go into the concept of production possibilities frontier, we must understand the concept of contract curve in the case of firm behavior. So we'll do so on our regular graph here. We still have the two companies, clothing and food, that employ capital and labor to produce their goods. Now, suppose that we still have a 50 units of clothing in the economy and 100 units of labor. Now, recall from the previous video that we have the concept of Pareto optimality, meaning that if firms are free in the market to operate, then they are going to exchange labor and capital in such a way to increase their own production. And they're going to do so until they cannot do it anymore. So they're going to literally maximize their own production. In other words, we're interested in the points of this Pareto optimality. We're interested in the points where the indifference curves between the companies are going to be tangent to each other. So that in that case, we want to know how much goods we have in the economy. That's what we're going to trade on the market because by definition in a free market companies are going to trade until they reach that point. Since they have the option to trade and they have the capacity to improve their production, they'll definitely do so. So suppose that here with these yellow, green and purple dots, we have these points of Pareto optimality. At this level, we have a tangency between the indifference curves and let's draw the indifference curves with other colors. So that would be, for instance, something like that. We have the indifference curve of the food company tangent to the indifference curve of the clothing company. We have the same logic going on here and there. So by definition, these are points of Pareto optimality. Pareto optimality. Whenever we, no we note the star, it means it's optimal. So again, these points are going to be complement to each other by adding up to these amounts. For instance, at the yellow point, we can see that the clothing company employs 30 units of labor, 20 units of capital, whereas the food company employs 70 units of labor and 30 units of capital. So 70 and 30 add up to 100 and 20 plus 30 end up to 50 units of capital. The same logic goes along these other lines, along these other points. Now, the set of all these points are gonna be no, uh, are, are gonna be called the contract curve. So the can contract curve is showing us the set of the Pareto optimal points, the levels of production, if we allow the companies to operate freely. So if we try to plot this as a curve, it's gonna be it's gonna be something something like that, and we're interested in these specific points because that's are gonna those are gonna be the points which we are going to use to plot our production possibilities frontier because recall the clothing company at this level of the isoquant has a specific production level so for instance it produces 15 units of clothing over here it produces let's say uh, 30 units of clothing because it's on a higher isoquant over here even on a higher isoquant so we must know these data points to be able to draw how much do they produce and that that production is gonna be our production possibilities frontier because by definition that's gonna be the limit by which the two companies produce when they are able to trade between each other the capital and the labor and we'll associate this concept this graph with the production possibilities frontier in the next video